So when I started making money, yes, we upgraded our lifestyle and absolutely I was happier. I wasn't smiling and laughing more than I was before. My internal happiness was the same, but what made me happy was the fact that I was providing for my family and setting us up for a stable future that made me happy. And that came from the money. It's like, I will buy us good health insurance, right? I will move us to a place that is, has a very good standard of living. If a family member needs money, which has happened a few times, emergencies come up, I can wire that money tomorrow, not a problem. That's happened twice already, right? And it's about to happen again. I just heard something the other day and it's like, I can help the Dow. So can it make you happy? Fuck yeah, I can. Cause you can provide for the people around you. Buying shit, no, not really gonna make you happy. Unless it sparks a, a value inside you, like leisure, traveling experiences, hell yeah, that'd make you happy all day long. But that's also monetary, right? That's also like, like the, the car thing that I'm telling you about. The first couple yeah. of weeks that I got it, I was like, like, I mean, it was just flying. And I even now, whenever I dream, I walk up to them like, fuck, this car is sexy, you know? But it's like, I'm not thinking about it all day. It's like, it's a car, you know, it's, it kind of like, I don't want to say it's, it's normalized because I don't know if it ever will, but it's the excitement is not the excitement of the first like week is not there anymore. You know what I mean? No, totally. It, it, that, that's what happens with material stuff, right? Yes. It immediately goes away. I can give you an example. I bought a watch, uh, three days ago. Okay. It's not a very expensive watch, a couple of grand, but it's just a nice little watch. It's a classic. I love it. Very excited about it. I looked at it for fucking five hours straight when I got home and I was like, this is beautiful. Looking at it, wearing it. I wore it two or three days. You know what I fucking ended up doing today? I was searching for a new goddamn watch. It's like, what the fuck? It's, it hasn't even been a week, <laughs> you know? And I'm already like, oh yeah, well, what's the next one? What's the next one? It's like, that's the trap that you fall into when you think that that's going to make you happy. And um, material stuff just doesn't. There, there's another side of things though. If you buy something for an experience, right? An experiential, experiential material item. This could be something for leisure, right? It's like, okay, you have two or three kids and you live on a ocean. It's like, you know what? I would love for them to learn from me how to be like a saltwater fisherman, just as an example. I'm going to buy a fishing boat. I'm going to teach my kids how to fish. We're going to have tons of memories. We're going to celebrate out there. We're going to have birthdays. We can watch the sunset, take my family out when they come visit. That's a materialistic thing that you can buy with money. That is a leisure experience that you sh couldn't buy if you're broke, but it will bring joy to the people around you. Yes. There's the value. And see, that's the theme that I keep hearing from what you're saying. You're not doing it for yourself. You're doing it for other people. Correct. Right? Because that's where fulfillment comes from is when you are contributing to other people. It's kind of like, like those of you that are watching this and if you find this valuable, what's the first thing you're going to do? You're probably going to share it with someone that you care about. It's like, hey, man, look at minute, blah, blah, blah. These guys talked about this thing and that thing. Remember we were talking about it the other day? Like, that's the first thing you're going to do, you know, because when we care about, like, when we, when we have great experiences, we want to share them with other people because that's how we're fulfilled.